I had to protect his niece from a pit bull and my husband ran off. I have been ignoring him is this something that I should be forgiving him for? My friend told me to repost this here. I don't know if this works. TW, animal attack. I'm going to start with this. I'm still a bit traumatized. And I will be finding someone to talk to. And a friend's made this account for me because I am not a frequenter. Don't know if the pit bull made it. I haven't asked. My husband and his niece and nephew and I were in our backyard. I am going to assume out gate was open I can't remember. It came out of nowhere and latched onto his niece. Niece screamed. I turned, kicked it with all the force I could manage. I was lucky enough to hit it in the jaw somewhere that made its jaw dislodge. My husband, who had been a few feet away, shouted, something along the lines of whose dog this. I told him to get our bear spray from the house. I was in a panic. I am animal love, but it was so insane. The pit bull seemed almost rabid. I don't think it was in hindsight. It wasn't foaming at the mouth. It was just praised. My husband ran, but not towards the house. He literally ran out the fence gate dot 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 and shut it behind him. Not towards his niece or nephew, who was also present in outdoor bassinet that I managed to all but toss onto the picnic table to make sure it was out of the dog's reach, while holding his niece off her my shoulder. I put her on the BBQ to keep her out of reach, but the dog was literally jumping and snapping, and I was worried that if I tried to carry her it would manage to grab her out of my hands. It chased me when I ran for the shove but then I swung at it dot 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 and I swung until it stopped. I don't think I will ever forget the sound or feeling. It was so high stress, I didn't even realize that it had bit me twice. I haven't spoken to him for a full week. Even though we live in the same house, I didn't ask where he went. He only came back a few minutes later to pack us into the car and drive us to the hospital. He's getting angry that I'm giving him the silent treatment. But I feel like it's his fault that I had to possibly end that animal. If he had gotten the bear spray then I don't think I would have needed to do what I did. It was literally just inside the door. He knows where I keep it. Instead he literally took off to God knows where. Me and two children. It might not even be relevant, but I don't even like kids. I am staunchly child-free and he is the one that offered us up to babysit for the weekend. I don't know, is this grounds for divorce? I'm not sure I can even look at him. Any attraction I had to him is pretty much gone. He tried to touch me yesterday, just to move me so he could pass, and I smacked his hand away without even thinking about it like he was some stranger at a bar, because it was literally jarring. He's just been skulking around trying to talk to me then getting frustrated, then skulking more. I wasn't expecting him to be macho and fist fight the freaking dog but at least follow instruction. At least not leave me in a life and death situation with a toddler and an infant. Should I be able to chalk this up to in the moment panic? I don't even know if I want to hear him out. Update. My friend said that people update often, but I don't know how to attach it to the other post. I thought I'd update since there had been a few things that happened kinda. Sorry if this is needlessly long. And I didn't expect this to get this many comments and kindnesses. And I want to say I'm so sorry to everyone that has experienced anything similar. Because, my god, it has not been easy. For everyone worried about my mental health, I did get in through an app with my work yesterday. Because I decided I really needed it, and labeled it high priority. However it felt like it was just a parliamentary meeting. And she said she wanted to get me to feeling a bit more comfortable. Because I was visibly tensing up whenever I started talking about it. And she even noticed it through the video chat. Last night, also I told me husband I needed space. I apologize that I don't have more of an update on our relationship than that. I wasn't as nice as I wanted to be. He argued and didn't want to leave, but I told him I just didn't want to look at him, that I couldn't look at him. He cried and I hate that I felt apathetic towards it. I haven't slept well so I'm not sure I'm also just overtired and still so shaken though. I was also emotionally exhausted after the appointment so that might have added to it. I got a few questions about his sister and her husband, so I thought I'd answer. They aren't speaking with him. I don't know when it happened I was definitely out of it at the hospital while I was getting the stitches and everything. But I do think after I was done blubbering and trying to explain how something so terrible happened to their little girl under our watch they apparently asked him where he was. I still haven't talked to him about where he went, so I don't know. However it clearly didn't satisfy them. His niece just got out of the hospital yesterday, so that really triggered everything and a lot happened. I had sent flowers, and a bear, and this one toy thing she'd been asking about. I didn't go to he hospital though, I was scared seeing me would make her nervous. But his sister and her husband sent me flowers too, and it made me bawl again. I'm just a freaking mess, honestly. The father sent me a long message that I haven't been able to get through but it's the sweetest things anyone's ever sent to me dot 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 he also sent me a 1k visa card. I literally thought I was reading the amount wrong. They are good people and I still feel terrible I couldn't have done more for her. Everything's just replaying in my head. Anyway, I obviously haven't looked into filing yet, but I am not against the idea of it. And it really did help me feel better about wanting a divorce over this. I know fight or flight can't be helped, but now I think I realize that it's okay not to want to be with someone who would leave you behind. I think I can say I'm a fighter. 
and I want a fighter with me. Maybe he'd be better off with a runner instead too. Then he at least wouldn't be leaving someone behind. I don't know. It feels like I'm done. But I'm also just a mess, so right now I'm just glad I have space. Thank you for everyone making me feel like I wasn't being ridiculous, though. I think it always feels like it should be multiple issues that tear a marriage apart, and it's like I know he may not have meant to betray me dot 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 but he still did, whatever his reasoning. Not sure when I'll be speaking to him, but I will try to update that.